Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be upgrading or redoing my dart frog tank. So as you can see, it's kind of pathetic in here. There's like one plant and this whole tank should just be covered with plants. So what I'm going to be doing today is getting some new substrate and a bunch of plants and just redoing this whole thing. The reason why I don't have any plants in here is because this substrate wasn't really working for the other plants in here and they were dying. So stick around for me upgrading this tank because it really needs upgraded. But before I do that, I gotta get all the supplies and stuff. So let's go to the stores. But before we go to the stores, I'm just gonna roll some old footage of when I got these guys. Now let's go back to the future to when I got my dart frog. got back home from getting all the supplies i'll show you what i got and then we can get started on the build got some vermiculite for my crickets i use that for the crickets because it helps with the smell and then got some window screen mesh for the substrate barrier also got some hydroton for the filter layer which i already have some so i might just keep that out here i got some moss for the ground floor I got some substratum, which I'll explain about later, and some plants, so let's go inside. 
But first, we gotta get our frogs and put them in a container so they're safe. Um, redoing their entire cage, so let's do that. I'm putting gloves on, not because they're poisonous, but because they breathe through their skin because they're frogs. The reason they they aren't poisonous in captivity is because they get their poison from the the bugs they eat in the wild. So I got this container, I'm gonna give it a little spray down and see if I can grab these guys. These are the Dendrobates Tinctoris Powder Blue. They are very pretty. You got the blue and black legs and then they got yellow on the rest. They're definitely getting bigger because they are eating a lot and yeah, we got them right here. So I'll set them in a safe spot and then we'll get to work. I'll go wash these off and be right back. Okay, now I'm just gonna vacuum all of this up because none of this stuff should, should be down here. Okay, washed all the hydrotone off. This is gonna act as the filtration layer. I'll just throw these back in here. Now we're gonna put the window screen mesh in here. This is the substrate barrier. So no substrate gets down here, which is what happened last time. So I'm gonna try and do a better job. I'm actually gonna add some more because I had some extra. Now let's create some substrate. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up some substrate and put it in here. So I was thinking I had some extra isopod substrate so I might just might as well just throw that in there I have some potting mix I might just throw like a little bit of that in there put some moss um, some sphagnum moss for um, humidity and like keeping it nice and moist in there and then I just picked this up this is substratum it's bioactive vi volcanic substrate so like, as you can see, it keeps it clean and healthy. Living bacteria in it, it's porous, and has nutrients for plants. So this is really good substrate. So let's mix all these things together, throw it in there. Okay, time to add the substrate. I'm gonna give it a quick spray down just so it's hydrated. Now I'm gonna add some springtails. I have three springtail cultures. This one has a ton, as you can see. I'll uh, pour some water in here and throw them in there. Okay, so springtails, if you don't know about springtails, they help eat like um, rotting stuff. They're basically like decomposers. They kind of just like clean up after the frogs and keep everything nice and healthy so let's just dump a bunch in oh okay that works too next i'm gonna plant some plants so this is these are the plants i got at lowe's i only got two because i have a bunch in my grow tank that i'm gonna add this is a creeping fig i really wanted this one because no, that background's boring. It needs some plants growing all crazy back there. So, this is a ficus familia. I also got this plant. I think it's a peperomia. I'm not too sure. It might not be, actually. But it doesn't really say what plant it is, but I just thought it looked really cool. Before I plant these... I'm going to wash the roots off just to make sure there's no like fertilizers in there and then we'll we'll plant I don't think I'm gonna plant the whole plant maybe just like one part of each one before I do that I think I'm gonna put the manzanita branches back in here
Okay, I couldn't figure out how it went before, but I rearranged it and I think it looks cooler this way, honestly. Okay, so I washed my plants off. Tried to get mostly just the bare roots. So I got a strand of creeping fig. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in back in this corner. Okay, that looks good. That should just climb up the background. I got another strand of the ficus. I'm gonna put that in the other corner. Okay, I got my other plant here. I don't even know what this is, but it's awesome. I was thinking right here would be a perfect spot. Okay, that looks really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna go grab some plants for my grow tank. If you haven't seen my video about that, go watch it. Also, if you didn't know, there's a spider living in here. If you haven't seen that video, I made a video on that too. But I was thinking about grabbing these pothos right here. So I'm gonna grab this. Okay, so I got the pothos. Um, I was thinking about the back right corner, so let's plant that over here. Okay, I got that situated in there. That should grow like that, but I think I'm gonna add a couple more plants. I still gotta add that moss, so let's do that. I grabbed this from my grow tank too, which I was thinking about over here somewhere. I think I'm gonna put the coconut right here. Or actually right here would be cool. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is how it's looking so far. I do have this um, pepperoni that was growing in the, as you saw before, this dinky little plant. But I'll probably throw this somewhere too. So I add the coconut and I'm gonna put the little pepperoni right here. Oh, it's falling apart, that's sad. In a couple days, that should um, face the light, we'll see. Okay, I got a cutting of the spider wart, and I think I'm just gonna place this right in the corner here. That looks really cool. So let's add the moss. Okay, so I got the moss here. I'm gonna rip it open. I really hope this grows like a carpet. That would be so freaking cool if it did. So I'm just gonna chop this up and then layer it all throughout the bottom and then it should like grow like crazy. I got the moss, I'm just gonna sprinkle it around on the floor. And it should grow a carpet. Okay, now I'm gonna add the leaf litter Give it a nice spray down and then we should be able to um, throw the frogs in here. And then I'll replace this light up here. I'll show you guys that later. So there we go, we got all the leaf litter in. Wow, that looks really cool. Once this grows in and there's plants everywhere, it's gonna be awesome because my last tank, if you didn't see that, my plants were dying because I didn't really have the, the best substrate for plants. So I just wanted to upgrade them and give them some awesome plants in a new fresh tank. So let's give this a spray down and add the frogs. Sorry if I'm a little hyper like in this video, I'm all over the place. I'm just excited. I also gotta add the water dish, which I'll probably just throw right here. Before I put my frogs back in here, I'm gonna replace this dome with this LED aquarium light that I have on my tree frog tank because obviously it doesn't fit and it fits perfectly over there. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, look at that. That's so much brighter and it has blue light, which is, I think it's pretty good for plants, but wow, that looks so cool. And if you didn't know, 
I upgraded all my tanks with these automatic timers. So the lights turn on for like four hours or I don't even know how long I set it for. So I don't have to worry about these plants not getting enough light. Okay, favorite part, got the frogs in here. They've been waiting for a while, so let's add them to their new home. Whoa, hold on, hold on. All right, go jump in there. Come on, go home. Whoa, he went right in the water. Go in there. Wow, I love this tank already, it's so cool. He's exploring, he's like, whoa, what is this place? Oh yeah, they're gonna be happy frogs now. You guys like your new home? Huh? Whoa, where you going? All right, let's close this up and watch them enjoy this awesome tank. I probably should clean off the glass, I don't know. This looks so cool, guys. I'm so glad I upgraded their tank because picture on screen of what it looked like before and now after, definitely an upgrade. They needed some safe plants and I just, it was looking kind of pathetic, so these guys are definitely gonna enjoy this tank and i'm gonna enjoy this tank and i'm gonna enjoy them because they're so cool and pretty though oh what are you doing buddy they're cool to watch and especially when they eat i'll do a feeding video soon hope you enjoyed this awesome video of me upgrading my dart frogs <laughs> they're still jumping around and exploring I kind of just want to watch them for like hours and hours, but I just got to clean up my mess over here. So see you guys in the next one. What are you doing, boss? What are you doing, boss?